Hey guys, I'm Austin and welcome back to Bombchu News, where I cover the news I found interesting today. Telltale Games CEO Kevin Bruner is leaving the company. Dan Connors, the CEO that he replaced, will be replacing him now. Bruner took over in January of 2015, and he said, We've grown aggressively since Telltale's inception. Now Telltale is bigger than I ever dreamed it would be. The time has come to pass the reins to someone that can better drive Telltale to the next level and realize all the potential that's here. It sounds like he'll be staying on Telltale's board of directors during the transition, but it's unknown how long that will last. Last week, we reported on a fix for the left Joy-Con on the Nintendo Switch. It wasn't really a viable fix, considering you had to open up your controller and do some soldering, which voids the warranty. But today I found a video that explains how to actually fix the left Joy-Con without having to open it up or anything like that. The video is a week old, but I haven't seen this fix reported anywhere, so I figured I should tell you about it here. This comes from the Gadget God. I'm not sure if he got it from somewhere else, but this is where I got it from. Basically what you do is you desync the controllers and the system settings, then you detach the controllers, fully turn the system off, turn it back on, go into the home menu, and resync your controllers by reconnecting them to your console, and from there you shouldn't have any more issues. I tested this today, and it actually worked for me. I assume something in this process causes a firmware update or something like that, but I can't speak on it with any certainty. If you're experiencing issues, give it a shot. I've linked to his video in the description below. Well guys, that's all the news I found interesting today. I'll see you tomorrow.